Hello everyone, my name is Patricia Dove and I'm going to teach you how to make professional designs using only brushes and topography. Now this is a great way to create dynamic and innovative designs but with something that's usually taken for granted. Um, brushes and fonts, people usually use them as you know, complements to renders, vectors, filters, masks, textures, things like that. But for me, my style is a little bit more, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more of a detailer, so I'm going to show you how I usually just use just those two things without having to get into the complications of all the other great stuff, and yet you can still make professional looking designs all the same. Now, for my example, I'm going to be using the mess and cellar here, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I had just recently spoken to the artist of this character, and um, she's really, really sweet. And so we, we talked for a while and we, we kind of became friends. So she inspired me to use her character in my tutorial. <laughs> anyway, um, also, this is going to be my first of five Photoshop tutorials. So after this, I'm going to be also doing tutorials in Cinema 4D, Painter, and Flash. So you can check those out later. But anyway, let's get at it. All right, so to start out with, I'm going to show you the brushes panel, of course. Um, Usually, this is Photoshop CS4, by the way. So, but like all Photoshops are relatively the same, so you can pretty much do the same thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go down to painting. Now, painting will load my brushes for me, as you can see. And <laughs> I have a lot of them. Yeah, it's just, when you start collecting brushes, well, at least when I start it, I just kinda keep going on and on. As, you know, as time goes on, I just find a brush I like, and I just add it to my collection. And places, you know, you can get brushes from are like brusheasy.com is really good. Or pretty much all you have to do is like Google brushes or Photoshop brushes and you'll get like a monster of things. So no problem finding brushes. <laughs> but anyway, so these are the brushes panel right here. And as you can see, I have tons of different kinds of brushes. And what we're going to go to is we're going to go to brush tip shape right here. And I'm gonna click on that. Yeah, see. And when brush tip shape shows up, uh, what make what's great about this like little um, tool of Photoshop is that brush tip shape allows you to change the direction or the perspective, the hardness or the diameter of the brush without having to go to you know edit, free transform, all that bullshit. No, you don't have to do that. Um, so that way, it just you know eliminates the middleman. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to start here. I click on my layers down here, and it's going to pull up my layers. And when I start usually a piece using just brushes or fonts, I take a minute to think about, you know, what I'm going to do, what my piece is going to look like. Now, the mess and seller, he's, as you can tell, very Japanese, so I'm going to use some type of oriental design. But I also kind of want to make it a little bit more modern, so I might, you know, dress it up with the pen tool. And then maybe not. I don't really want to get into the complications of the pen tool right now, but I just might later, as like a little side note, I'll explain that too. Anyway, so we're going to go down our, our brushes here. And I have my, as you can see, I have my brush clicked. For those who don't know, the, this panel, the tool panel, this is the brushes to actually do that. And I'm going to go down my brushes, and I'm going to find something to start with. I think I, us I usually work up and down, depending on where my focal point is of where I want to start my work. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe like doing something, you know, spreading out this way, a little bit like that. So, and what you need to do to just get into it is you basically just need to make, make a new layer. For this, I'm going to do it on top of it. And you just need to try out different brushes. So, you know, you just get into it. Oh, and of course, <laughs> uh, remember to check your diameter before you start, you know, rushing it to your screen because uh, it can be really big. These are paint blotches. And let's see what this one is. This kind of gets into uh, Unreal brushes. And we continue to go down. I have so many brushes. You know, oh, and also the thing about using brushes is you can click this little text thing and you can go to reset, load, save brushes. If, if you have like a certain number of brushes, you can save them onto your desktop or hard drive and so you can just keep them forever. Um, usually, I've never really done that before until I got into using CS4 because um, before they would automatically save them for me. But I've, I've had a little problems with CS because uh, 
sometimes when I close it, it just, the brushes just go poof, they just disappear. So I usually have to end up, you know, re-downloading them and then re-uploading them and that's really, really annoying. Okay, here we are. Here's some Japanese brushes I download. Um, okay. So this is a geisha woman. <laughs> sometimes the icons are really small. So if they're really small, um, you can go to this and you can go to large thumbnail and you'll get a better view of them and now I need to go back down to it <laughs> mm, somewhere down here <laughs> um, but yeah brushes um, here's some good ones these are these are actually render brushes yes graphics people, you can have render brushes, so you don't always have to go through the whole rendering process with the tin tool. You can just rip somebody else's brushes off. <laughs> That's what I usually do. So using the uh, the brush tip shape tool that I told about further, we, using this little handy thing, we can, uh, we can change the direction. We can flip it if we wanted to, and you might want to click this so you can actually see it. <laughs> so you flip it, change. Or change the direction, which is just great. I'm thinking about changing it to this direction because I think I'm going to put it right here. And now we need to go through the process of choosing the color to complement it. I really just quickly ch go to my color picker and I find a color that might seem to stand out with it. I kind of like the idea of the red and gold, so I'm going to go with that. A lot of people think using brushes are very simplified. You can't really do anything with them, but it's usually how you use them and dressing them up with all the other type of like compl compliments that Photoshop can do that usually get something amazing. So just gonna simply go, pa pa, <laughs> and as you can see, I have a pretty simule piece right there. I might do it again. I like that. There you go. And now it's a little bit darker, and I'm going to put it actually behind him, I've decided. And before I actually do anything with that, I'm actually just going to leave it like there, and I'll end up, you know, dressing it up and maybe putting a stroke to it or something later on. Anyway, using that exact same layer, I'm going to take similar brushes and do the exact same thing, only different colors. Now, this isn't actually, it may not seem like much, but this is actually my style of doing it. And for the longest amount of time, I had not used uh, renders or vectors or textures at all. And I just kind of stayed with the idea of using simply uh, brushes. I was kind of a brush Photoshop person. <laughs> anyway, um, and when I finally kind of like fell to uh, the world of renders and vectors, I was like, I still kind of miss doing normal brushes because that's really, that's, you know, that's kind of like the tip of my iceberg. <laughs> so I just keep coming back to it over and over and over again. And I'm going to put another layer. You know, one thing about using brush art is you always choose your layers. That's pretty basic for Photoshop. But <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> um, and there we go. I'm going to use this and go like that. And I'm going to keep it like that for a while. And then I'm going to use these. These are great. These are Unreal brushes. They get into like all types of colors and crap. They're great. They're great. <laughs> and I'm going to start doing that. And if you mess up like I just did, I'm very, I'm very particular about how I do things. Then uh, you can always go to your history, which should have been open. <laughs> and you can just go put up and it's gone. <laughs> um, let me use a different one. This is going to be a long tutorial, by the way, because I'm going to actually go through and show you kind of my style of how I do things. I get a lot of compliments for my art, and surprisingly, it's actually very simple. So I found